Hello students, today we're going to look at a problem where we need to do some work with the relative abundance of the natural isotopes of magnesium. There are three natural isotopes of magnesium. They are the 24, the 25, and the 26. Remember that only for carbon-12 does it have the mass number exactly equal the atomic mass. And so for each of these guys, there's one of these different atomic masses measured in AMUs. I'm going to write those out, but spare you from having to watch me write them all. So here we go. And then I put a column over here for the percent abundance. If you read the problem, we're actually given the percent abundance for one of the isotopes, the 24 in particular. It is 78.99% abundant. And then we're also given the average here. So this guy is the average. That's the one that you would see on the periodic table. Remember, anytime you're doing a weighted average, you're looking at not only the value of the number, but you're also looking at how frequently it appears. And so if these are four different numbers, and I want the weighted average, I notice that three-fourths of all of the numbers are fives, and so I have three-fourths of my numbers are five, plus one-fourth of my numbers are one. This would be your weighted average. And so certainly if I were to do this out, I would get four just doing that arithmetic. And you notice that because I have one, two, three numbers that are five, my final average is closer to those guys because they were more heavily represented. Atomic masses are exactly that. At this stage, I do not know either of these. And in fact, that's what I'm being asked to find in this particular problem. I know that these two numbers are linked in some way. The way that they are linked is that the combination of those two plus this guy up here has to equal 100%. So I know I have to have 21.01% made up from those two numbers. So in a sense, this is a two equation, two unknown problem. I have one, two unknowns, but I know a relationship here between the two. What you do is you go ahead and assign one of these values a variable. I'm going to call it x. The second variable, maybe I'll just call it y briefly, and I know there's a relationship that x plus y is going to be equal to, again, this number, except I'm going to write it in the fraction, not in the percent. So it's going to be 0 0.2101. This allows me to solve for y in saying that it is 0 0.2101 minus x. And that is what I'm going to want instead of y when I actually plug all my numbers in. So in doing my weighted average, it's a little bit lengthy, but we write it out like this, 7, 8, 9, 9. So there's my fraction. That's this number right here. There's my fraction of the isotopes that are 23.985042 plus x, this guy, at this particular weight. plus the y variable, which I'm going to choose to write it like this, multiplied by that isotope's atomic mass. And all of this will be equal to the average, which was written up there, given in the problem, 24.3050. So now at this stage, I want to point something out. This needs to be distributed out into both of those terms, so we need to do a little simplification. I also am asked in this problem to figure out the abundance, but if you look at this number up here, I'm already limited to four significant figures that are written up there. There's really not any point in me carrying all of the significant figures and all of these different atomic masses. What I will do is I will, from here on out, only carry one, two, three, four, and I'll carry another one for good measure. So if I simplify all this out, I'm going to find 18.94578. There's a little bit of rounding in here. If you're doing this yourself, you should get numbers that are very similar to mine, but they shouldn't be too different. Okay, now I need this term. is going to be 
24.985x plus this number and this number combined. It's going to be 5.459 minus, because of that little minus sign that's right there in front of that x, 25.983x is equal to 24.3050. Now I'm going to combine all of my terms that do not have an x, and I'll put that on the left, so 0 0.09978 is going to be equal to, and then I'll have all my terms that do contain an x, 998x, and if I solve that out, I will find that x is equal to 0 0.09998. That's what I get when I did rounding where I did it. Now the deal is, is that I'm going to only want to have four sig figs, and so I'm going to have one, two, three, four after I round it, because this is going to become a one. So x is going to be equal to 0 0.1000, or 10.00%. So coming back up here, I'm just going to erase these little spots here. This was 10.00%. And then the balance has to be this guy, which is going to be 11.01%. So there we have it. Hopefully that made sense to you. And if it did, you should let your computer know.